Apple has released the second iOS 11 beta for developers, with most of the changes dealing with issues and bugs from the first release. 3D Touch now functions correctly when firm pressing on things like phone numbers, dates, and addresses. Also, the Bluetooth button in the new control center now disconnects from devices rather than toggling off. Apps over 100 megabytes can now be downloaded without requiring Wi-Fi. Safari now offers experimental features in the Settings app. Hindi Dictation has been added to iOS 11, with support for all Hindi keyboards. Apple Music gets some extra search options, like searching for user profiles. A new blur animation is added when pulling down the lock screen. You now have the option of making notifications temporary or persistent, which will keep the notification up until you swipe it away. It is now possible to disable control center access while within an app, preventing you from accidentally bringing it up. Expanded music options with the control center now features a larger and more convenient volume slider. Certain buttons in the control center now stay black and white when enabled instead of the previous yellow. External locations, like Google Drive, are now seen in the new Files app. We now finally have the ability to save files and photos directly to the Files app with a new Save to Files Share Sheet extension. Do Not Disturb While Driving mode is now enabled in Beta 2, along with a bunch of new options in the Settings app. In Photos, the Edit button has moved to the corner of the screen, replacing the Details button, which is no longer needed since you can swipe up to view details and other info. For iPad changes, you now have the option to hide the most recent apps that show up on the right side of the new dock. The new screenshot preview feature now allows you to long press on the screenshot to bring up the share sheet. For more news, reviews, and analysis, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.